I wanted to do a quick review of the Harrods Beauty advent calendar for Christmas. It's their holiday advent calendar that has come out. I got it as a early birthday present. So in the month of October, I opened up every single day up until the 25th. Of October. I kind of got a little Christmas holiday gift every day. I guess it was more a birthday gift a day which was a lot of fun. So I wanted to hop on here and see if it's worth getting something like this. Obviously there's so many different beauty advent calendars out there. I've also bought in the past the Liberty London advent calendar. I have tried the MAC advent calendar and I also tried the By Terry advent calendar. I didn't know this one was coming. I wanted to take you through whether or not it's worth buying or investing in something like this during the holidays. So if you are planning on already buying the Harrods 2023 holiday advent calendar, do skip this video so that I don't spoil all the goodies because there are some amazing gifts here, which I'm really excited to try. I haven't yet tried any because I wanted to do this video. I'm going to reorganize and put quite a few of these products in my rotation. But first up, I've got a list here of the value because it's it's insane the size of the bottles. Let me just open this up quickly. Let's start with number one. So number one, we have the Augustinus cream. It is the rich cream. This is valued at $92 for 15 ml 0.5 ounces. So $92. Let's go to number two. Number two, I got the Geisel. I hope I'm saying this right. The Geisel honey infused hair wash and conditioner, which is super cute. This is valued at around $45. Let's go to number three. This I was super surprised at, and I've never heard of this brand, but I might just not be aware of them. It's Evlon, Evlon cleanser. Let's see if you can see. And it comes with a little cloth. Evlom Original Balm Cleanser is $60. So we've got $60. Number four is the Decree Treat Tincture Daily Serum. I haven't tried this. Is valued at $179 for 30 ml, 1.01 ounce. $179. That's really expensive. But... I'm excited to try this. Number five is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes, which I've never tried this before. This is valued at $15. So excited to try this. And also a perfect travel size. Number six, we have the Ruby Eye Gel Mask. This is $95. That's really expensive for an eye mask, but hopefully it does wonders because I need some, some miracles with my face being a little bit dull. I don't know if it's change of season. 90, did I say 95? $95. Number seven, we have the Aromatherapy Associates. This is a massive bottle. I think you're just meant to put it in your hand and, and smell the aromas, but this massive, Full jar, it's 55 ml, 1.85 ounces, is $78. So it is the Aromatherapy Associates Distress Muscle Bath and Shower Oil. Ooh, that's really great. And that is $78. We've got number eight. It is the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. This is $110 for this tiny little size, 10 ml, crazy. Skincare products, so expensive. Number nine, we have the Kylie Jenner High Gloss. Let's see. Can you see? Have not tried this in 001 Crystal. My sister loves Kylie Jenner. Ooh, this is quite cool. Very cool. But this, I think, is like $20. How much? Is this the full size? Probably not, but around $18 for the Kylie Jenner lip gloss. Number 10, we have the Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. And it is a full size. It's 30 ml. And this, I think, was really expensive. This is $160. Crazy. 
crazy. $160. Can't wait to use it. I'm excited to try this. This is the Christopher Robin Scrub Lavend Purifant Cleansing Purifying Scrub. And it's like a little mini size. And this little mini size is $19. Not too bad. $19. Great for traveling. I haven't tried this, so excited to try it. Number 12 is the Bioeffect EGF Serum. I haven't heard of this before. This is $169. What is going on? 13 is the Triple One Skin. Triple One Skin, the Black Diamond Brightening Essence, which I haven't tried, but I, I got last year. I think I got a face mask that I haven't tried yet, but it is this essence, if you can see. This is a great travel size and it is valued at $43. Not too bad, $43. 15 is this Rin Clean Skin Care Ready Steady Glow. Okay, I have the big version of this, but this is great, 250 mils. Okay, it's not, this is not a travel size. This is valued at $40. Great size. I do have the bigger version and I've got a travel size. So I am all good with the tonic. 16 is this Aqua de Palma bath and shower gel. $68. Great travel size because it's 75 mils. 17 is the Sunday Riley. I'm excited about this because I haven't tried this. This is the uh, CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. I love it. it's matching my nails. Very, very full with the orange. This is $40 for 50 mils, 0.5 ounce. Travel size, perfect. 18, this is quite cute. I've tried this before. It's the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, also in a travel size. Living Proof Dry Shampoo, $18. Going into my travel kit. 19 is Evie Den S Le Mask Anti Fatigue, the Night Recovery Solution. I think this is French, made in Japan, but it is a French brand. I haven't heard of this brand before. I'm very excited to use this as a face mask. It is $95 for 30 mils. 20, okay, I've already used this. 20 is this Bobbi Brown Lip and Cheek. It is called Hot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. And it's this beautiful color. And this is, and I think my hands are here. This is $36. Okay, 21 I already pulled out. It is this Dragon's Blood Rodeo Eye Gel. This is $95. It's very expensive. Haven't heard about this brand, but I'm excited to use it. I'm now back. It's a few hours since I left you. Friends of ours arrived and I had to pause, but I just wanted to quickly wrap up. It's so much darker and now I have a light, so hopefully the footage is going to come out, okay? 22, we have the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. So Dermalogic Pre-Cleanse, which is only $15. I'm really excited about this because I can, again, put this in my little travel kit. 23, we have this Champo. I've never, never heard of this brand, Champo. And it is the Growth Serum, which is meant to formulate, to thicken, volumize, and strengthen hair. And this is valued at $42. So excited to try this for my hair. I missed 14 and that is the Laura Mercier eyeshadow stick. How did I miss that? Oh, there it is. I have it in rose gold and it's $32. Okay, so I forgot 14. 24, 24 is Nars. It is their lipstick, which is $26. And it's in this dragon girl color. Let me show you what the color is. It's this beautiful red. I haven't tried it yet, but let's see. So it's in this gorgeous red. And I'm excited to wear this for Christmas when it's December. It's not yet December, but that would be a fun, fun red to wear over the holiday season. The final one, which is 25. It comes in this really cute little Harrods little, what's this called? Little pouch, little pouch. It is the Floriku, Floriku Paris. It's this beautiful 
box in it's the between two trees perfume between two trees is your dark shadow an oriental and woody fragrance with aromatic essence composed of grapefruit oil mate absolute and viteria oil that will add an aromatic richness and depth in your fragrance so it's this nice little perfume and i've already tried it and it is gorgeous as you can see, you see, it's very woody and even Ed tried this and he loved it. So that is everything I got in the Harrods advent calendar. This perfume, which I never said, this perfume is valued at $76 for 10 mils. So I've given you all the dollar values and when I totaled it up, because I was very intrigued, I was trying to figure out okay what does everything cost and what is the overall value of this advent calendar so when i summed up everything it came to around 1666 dollars which is insane 25 products combined under two thousand dollars it is just it's a lot of money but what you pay for for this harrods beauty advent calendar is only 292 dollars roughly this is what i got from the site i don't know exactly what it paid but it is i want to say five times cheaper or you get five times of value to what is all in the box which is just insane to me is it worth it i personally think it is because i will be able to use all these products through 2024 and i've already been able to kind of take stock and note what i've got and not overbuy so i think it is definitely worth it if the advent calendars are giving you full sizes or a variety of mini sizes and the value is five times of what you're paying you're getting instead of buying it in store or when a sale comes up here and there i would definitely buy the harrens beauty advent calendar again i know it is a very frivolous expense and you don't need to obviously buy it if you don't want to but personally i've enjoyed over the past few years getting an advent calendar that i can open on a daily basis and actually use those products heading into the new year i definitely think it is worth it i'm excited to use all these products i'm now not having to wait to use them in january but i can already start using them now i've got a trip coming up for work that i'm excited to use some of these travel things but i'm going to wrap up this video it's probably quite long i need to go and edit it and post it up on tuesday my next video will be what i got from the sephora sale i'm excited to share with you the new things that i'm going to be trying and some products that i bought again just because i love them and i am constantly buying them and putting them in my basket and putting them back into my routine but if you like this video please do give it a like comment down below if you're going to spoil yourself with an advent calendar and let me know what you are going to be getting definitely subscribe to my channel if you liked watching and have a beautiful week ahead i will chat to you soon bye